Hi gamers, are you ready with Metroidvania of all time in this 2024? With so many upcoming Metroidvania games yet to be released, alright, this video is just the beginning of what's to come in 2024, and I will update it in the future. Alright then, let's see if your favorite is on this list. Astalon The Tears of Earth is one of the best Metroidvania action platformers that you should not miss, delivered with 8-bit nostalgia to great effect. In this game, players have the option to switch between three characters, a warrior, an archer, and a wizard. Each character comes with unique abilities for combat, climbing, and puzzle solving. Discovering new things and moving forward are key parts of the game, with lots of hidden surprises to find and enhancements to get. It's a very relaxing game that doesn't require you to invest a lot of time, money, or talent to master. Shadow Complex Remastered is a remake of the 2.5D Metroidvania game Shadow Complex, which came out in 2009 on Xbox Live Arcade. The game follows Jason Fleming on a quest to rescue his kidnapped girlfriend, Claire. The gameplay is really fun, with plenty of cool and unique abilities to use. The combat is solid, and it's a relief that your ammo is unlimited. You won't have to stress about running out of bullets while using different weapons. Plus, the game includes a stealth feature that lets players sneak up on enemies and take them out with a perfectly executed melee attack. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is an awesome Metroidvania platformer with super responsive controls. The music is awesome, and the combat mechanics and platforming are well-crafted and smooth. Although the fighting can get a bit repetitive in certain parts, the game's excellent writing and colorful visuals keep things engaging all the way through. The game stands out among retro-inspired Metroidvania platformers by infusing classic gameplay elements with a sharp wit and bold style. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is a fantastic short and sweet game that both series fans and newcomers will enjoy. Eterna Noctis is a Metroidvania game about two immortal monarchs, the King of Darkness and the Queen of Light, who are cursed to battle each other forever. The gameplay is like a cool mix of precision platformer and Metroidvania. The combat is fantastic with memorable boss fights, but the real challenges lie in the platforming. If you're a fan of Aeterna Noctis, you'll be excited to hear about its sequels, Summum Aeterna, a roguelike game, and Aeterna Lucis, a Metroidvania Souls-like set to release in 2024. Guacamelee 2 is the sequel to Guacamelee, both Metroidvania platform games with a strong focus on combos. Continuing the story of the first game, Guacamelee 2 tasks Juan with a new mission to save the Mexiverse from the menacing Salvador. Juan is equipped with a variety of combat tools and abilities that serve dual purposes in both combat and platforming. This synergy between combat mechanics and movement options results in a satisfying gameplay experience with each ability contributing to a well-crafted progression system that enriches both combat depth and platforming challenges. Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is a colorful Metroidvania platformer, a spiritual successor to the classic Wonder Boy in the Monster World series. In this game, you play as Jin, a young boy on a quest to stop his uncle Nobu from using magic to spread chaos throughout the kingdom turning everyone into animals, including Jin himself. You can transform into different animals, each with their own unique abilities, to fight enemies, solve puzzles, and progress through the interconnected world. This game is recommended for everyone who loves the Metroid genre, especially for those who are new to it. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a Metroidvania action game for the lovers of the genre. The game follows the protagonist Miriam, a young orphan girl cursed by the Alchemist's Guild. To break the curse, she must gather magic shards from demons in the Demon's Castle. The core gameplay of exploration and combat is very solid, being incredibly similar to the aforementioned Symphony of the Night and Aria of Sorrow. And alchemy is a fun diversion that allows for the creation and enhancement of Miriam and her equipment, all while being optional. Not only that, you can even change up Miriam's look very slightly to give her a more personal touch. Momodora Moonlit Farewell is the newest addition to the beloved Momodora series. The gameplay in Momodora 4 
is strikingly similar to Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. Just like its predecessor, Momodora 4 is undeniably a soul game, complete with a stamina system, MP system, and autosaves. Every battle is a delight to behold, thanks to the combat system's smooth mechanics and stunning artwork. The game is pretty cool with its sigil system, giving players the freedom to personalize their playstyle. This level of customization brings an extra element of strategy and personalization, which is perfect for players who like to customize their gaming experience. Moonscars is an excellent metroidvania with a Dark Souls combat system and aesthetic. In Moonscars, you take control of Grey Irma, a clay and bone warrior, on a quest to find her creator, the sculptor. The gameplay incorporates Souls elements, with each death teaching a lesson and contributing to progression through difficult combat scenarios. The combat of Moonscar is very solid. Parrying feels great, it's fair, balanced, and fast. It's entertaining and never boring, even if the gems don't add as much variety to the build as you might expect. Ultimately though, combat is a really fun part of the experience. Once you get the rhythm, it just feels natural and fluid. Ask Libra Revision is an amazing 2D action RPG that guarantees an immersive and captivating gaming experience. The game offers a perfect blend of side-scrolling action and a compelling story that will keep players hooked for hours. The game's detailed world is divided into different chapters, each with new challenges and intriguing secrets to discover. Whether you're into ranged combat with a bow or casting spells as a mage, Ask Libra Revision offers a wide range of character development options. Level up, gather resources, and craft equipment to customize your playstyle. Afterimage is a Metroidvania game heavily inspired by the Castlevania series, offering players a journey filled with intricate combat mechanics and RPG elements. The combat stand out as the game's strongest point, offering a polished and engaging gameplay element. With a variety of weapons featuring unique movesets, Players can tailor their approach to combat, playing to their strengths and devising effective strategies. Furthermore, Afterimage introduces various gameplay elements such as crafting materials and cooking ingredients to enhance the overall experience. Grime is a Metroidvania that you should play if you are a Metroidvania fan. This game offers a classic Metroidvania experience with a strong emphasis on backtracking, hidden content, and challenging bosses. Combat, similar to Bloodborne, is fast-paced, requiring quick reflexes to dodge enemy attacks effectively. The diverse range of weapons, each with unique special moves, adds depth to the combat system. Additionally, the inclusion of a forgiving parry mechanic, known as Absorb, adds a strategic element to both offense and healing, providing a variety of combat scenarios that keep the gameplay engaging and dynamic. Death's Gambit Alter Life is a fascinating metroidvania full of exciting adventure. The plot has depth and purpose, which provides excellent motivation for the player. You play as Sauron, a soldier from the Kingdom of Vados, who dies while on an expedition to find the source of immortality. But Diet sends you back to life and gives you a contract to remain living if you work for him. The comeback is largely inspired by Souls-like games. However, both fights have a lot of variation and a good mix of attacks, forcing the player to adapt. If you're searching for another amazing 2D Souls-like Metroidvania with multiple classes and built-in modifiers like random objects, Death Gambit is a must-have. Laika Aged Through Blood is a story-rich platforming game that combines elements of Metroidvania and motorbike games. Its strengths lie in the initial and concluding hours, providing a challenging and engaging experience despite occasional frustrations. Notably, the best upgrade in the game is only unlocked near the end, introducing an ability that enhances both combat and traversal. Despite its flaws, Laiku is a worthwhile experience, thanks to its positive aspects such as the story, music, and challenge. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a 2D Metroidvania game that brings back the legendary Ubisoft title. You will play as Sargon, who embarks on a mission to find the missing Prince of Persia, accompanied by a troop of soldiers known as the Immortals. 
combat includes deflecting enemy hits, which results in flamboyant animations that are consistent with Ubisoft Montpellier's anime ideals. By using time-bending skills, you can dash and lay shadow marks to rewind to safety, improving the strategic aspects of fighting and platforming sequences. This game features amulets that can alter abilities, allowing for a variety of interesting and inventive gameplay techniques. In these times of darkness... Carrion is a reverse horror metroidvania game where the player takes on the role of a menacing creature that awakens from hibernation in a Seattle-based research company called Relith Science. The combat gets intense as the creature rampages through the facility, dodging bullets and flames is key to staying alive. As you clear each room, you'll see the evidence of your escape in the blood and entrail-stained walls. The fights are enjoyable and become smoother and more natural as the player becomes more familiar with the game. The Last Faith is a 2D pixel art game that blends Metroidvania and Souls-like elements. You will play as Eric, a warrior who has lost his memory and seeks salvation from a curse that afflicts him. Inspired by Bloodborne, Metroidvania, and Blasphemous, the gameplay combines exploration, power-ups, horrifying monsters, trick weapons, combat, and execution attacks. To progress through challenging levels, players need to master enemy attack patterns, dodge effectively, counter, and strategically upgrade their character and weapons. Moreover, the incorporation of status effects and special movies elevates, the strategic elements of gameplay. If you're a fan of Metroidvanias or 2D Souls likes, this game is a must-have. Super Metroid is considered as one of the best games ever made, captivating players with its immersive gameplay and intricate level design. Following the legendary bounty hunter, Samus Aran, the game takes players on a new mission back to the eerie corridors of Planet Zebes. Super Metroid stands out due to its expertly crafted combination of exploration, retroversal, and power-up acquisition, resulting in a gaming experience that is truly memorable. As players guide Samus through the labyrinthine corridors of Planet Zebas, they uncover a richly detailed world filled with alien foes, traps, and hidden secrets waiting to be discovered. Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Night, is 2D action RPG with Metroidvania elements. The game follows Lily, the protagonist, in a devastated world accompanied by spirits known as knights. In terms of gameplay, the game provides a difficult but rewarding experience. The Metroidvania steel exploration and efficient combat systems keep players interested throughout the game. The ability to summon and manipulate spirits adds a strategic element to combat, making each encounter feel unique and exciting. Ender Lily stands out for its narrative richness. The fragmented tale progressively reveals the world's mysteries and the protagonist's past, encouraging players to explore and discover the game's rich lore. Blasphemous 2 is a solid Metroidvania game that you must play if you Metroidvania fan. The combat in Blasphemous 2 has been revamped to be faster paced and easier to pick up, with a focus on dodging rather than parrying. There are three awesome weapons to choose from, each with its own playstyle and ways to interact with the environment. Being able to switch between weapons during a fight really adds a whole new level of strategy to the game. Blasphemous 2 delivers a superior experience when it comes to boss fights, offering more consistently engaging battles without relying on gimmicks like its predecessor. Salt and Sanctuary is a 2D Souls-like game, heavily inspired by the Dark Souls franchise in nearly every facet of its creation. You will build your character from nothing, give them the strength of men and gods, and determine the fate of the land once and for all. As always in these games, combat is a crucial aspect you will rapidly become familiar with as the story progresses. You have the standard abilities to attack, dodge, and jump, but very little else at the start. And additional skills will unlock as you kill more bosses and get to understand the world you're in. Metroid Dread is considered a fantastic game in the Metroid-style genre, offering a great blend of exploration, combat, and tough boss fights. The game is all about Samus Aran as she tries to regain her lost abilities on the mysterious planet ZDR. Metroid Dread totally nails it when it comes to gameplay. With detailed environments, engaging enemy design, and tight combat mechanics, Metroid Dread excels in gameplay immersion. Also, the cutscenes made it so awesome, 
I love how Metroid can look so new and still feel so nostalgic. It's so smooth and the gameplay is so advanced compared to back when I was a little that it is able to throw a lot of surprises your way. To explore, she'll gain additional abilities. Ori and the Will of the Wisps has been praised as a masterpiece in the gaming world. This game has truly raised the bar for Metroidvania titles with its exceptional gameplay, beautiful visuals, captivating storytelling, and smooth gaming experience. This game has it all, from upgrades and secrets to dynamic boss fights, engaging platforming, masterful map design, moving storytelling, stunning art direction, and a standout original soundtrack. This latest release was the most fun I've had playing any of the Metroidvania platformer games in the series. You should definitely give it a shot. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a fan favorite in the Metroidvania genre, famous for its engaging story, polished gameplay, and impressive art style. You will play as Alucard on an epic adventure through Dracula's castle, where you'll face intense battles and uncover hidden secrets. With a variety of combat options, a detailed exploration system, and numerous hidden secrets scattered throughout Dracula's castle, players are in for an immersive and fulfilling gaming adventure that will have them hooked. The game's impact on the gaming industry is undeniable, shaping current titles and enchanting players with its enduring charm. Hollow Knight is described as one of the best Metroidvania out there, with every step taken, every nook and cranny explored, and every boss beaten feeling rewarding. The combat system is commended for its simplicity and variety of advanced techniques. Customization through charms and builds is enjoyable, though some players may find it slightly limiting compared to other games. The art and music in Hollow Knight are considered masterpieces, with each room in the game having its own special vibe. Halonist's vibrant world is like embarking on adventures in top-tier games, such as Zelda. The music is just amazing, especially tracks like Green Path and City of Tears that really stick with you. And that's it for today! What do you think about this list? I know there are amazing Metroidvania games that I haven't mentioned yet. Feel free to share your favorites in the comment if you think they should be on this list. Don't forget to like the video and make sure subscribe this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.